anti-Semitism and said that uh, that that is wearing down, but Holocaust narrative is still the third rail. No one dares touch that. Yet it is taught in our schools, in our public schools, in our taxpayer-supported schools. We may not oppose it. It is a quasi-religious dog dogma. I consider that a violation of constitutional rights. It's a state enforcement of a religious dogma. In this very room, with, with respect, uh, Mr. Brownfeld, you mentioned that Nazism was an impetus for Zionism. I think the chronology shows exactly the opposite. The Chaim Weizmann was working with the British during World War I and achieved a major triumph, and these are words from Edwin Black's transfer agreement. The Zionists returned from Versailles with a dual triumph. Germany lost out at Versailles. Uh, Phil, Phil Weiss mentioned Judy Rudoran's comment uh, of the Nazi boycott of Jews. That lasted for one day on April 1st, 1933. The Jewish declared, Jews declared war on Germany on March 24, 1933, and that lasted for seven years. All right, Get we're the way out of minute here. Let's, let's go ahead and let the panelists respond. Anyone? Is this on, or what do I do to? Yeah, you're on. Oh, it's on. No, I only want to, for, I, I, I see no problem with teaching the Holocaust in the schools. We should teach all of world history in the schools. This is an event which happened. Hopefully it will never happen again. But my point about the Nazis and the Zionists was, I, I understand that Zionism existed long before Nazism. My point was that it was only after Nazism that many Jews that were opposed to Zionism became sympathetic to it because they saw there was a need to do something with these people who had had suffered. That was my only point. In, in reference to teaching of Holocaust in the schools, um, this is a situation in which much more time is spent teaching about the Holocaust that happened in Europe than what the genocide against the Native Americans in this country. I happen to have been a school teacher, uh, and I substitute still in the schools. I, there are programs in California, every eighth grader gets weeks of Anne Frank, not only her diary, but all kinds of teaching material because it's provided by Jewish establishment. Then in the ninth grade, they all read Eli Wiesel, his book, The Night. Night. This is in English, and then in history, it's even more, and yet in the California curriculum, teachers are obliged to teach more about the Holocaust and a particular line than they are about the genocide of Native Americans. In the area where I lived, there, it took place in California. Also, the 400 years of slavery. And, you know, you could, there are arguments when I went to college at UCLA that defended slavery, that said only some slave masters were bad, but by and large, slaves are treated well. So there, there was a whole range of opinions, but when it comes to the Holocaust, there is no range of opinions. You teach a certain line, you do not teach about the Zionist Nazi collaboration. But they know that in Israel, many things that, that American Jews don't know or don't want to hear about. And also you have proliferation of monuments to the Holocaust here. Are there any monuments to, to the genocide of Native Americans in Germany? Wait, 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 excuse me. What range of opinion could you possibly have about the Holocaust? It's not a, it's excuse not, me. excuse me, excuse me, it's not a question of range of opinion, it's a question of historical What's discussion. What's your I, for, I, you're no, no, I mean, excuse me, no, I'm talking about teaching in American schools about American history. I also take exception to the lady's comment. I, I, I don't think we should be uh, uh, problematizing the education of the Holocaust here. This is, that's repulsive. You know, Anne Frank, uh, that, it's a wonderful book. I don't care who tells you to read that book. If it's APAC, if it's the ADL, it's a wonderful book. Uh, and uh, 
the which, one which thing book I would is say, this? The one thing I would say is that the the debt the, the West thought that uh, incurred a debt toward the Jews uh, from the Holocaust, and the Palestinians paid for that. And I think that one of the great discoveries of the last few years in Palestinian solidarity is the understanding that the West also has a debt to the Palestinians. And, and we are... We, can, we, can we move on? That's, that's enough. Thank you very much. You've had, you've had more time than any other question asker today. Thank you very much, ma'am. Nobody heard what you said just now. So with the Zionist, the Federation has been saying, let's come back to what Zionism is. We will find ourselves losing in a battle which is crucial to the continued existence of the State of Israel.